you just upgraded to Netflix Premium, dropped an extra 8 bucks a month for that sweet 4K streaming. Your picture looks worse than a Blu-ray from 2010. Ever wonder why streaming services can advertise 4K quality? What you're getting looks noticeably inferior to physical media from the Obama administration. I'm going to break down why lawsuits against Netflix and other streamers keep getting thrown out of court. By the end, you'll understand exactly what evidence would actually need to exist to win a case. You'll see why the companies keep getting away with streaming quality lies. Here's what's happening right now with your premium subscription. You're paying a premium for 4K Ultra HD streaming, and these services are technically delivering 3840 by 2160 pixels to your screen. That's the definition of 4K resolution. Check the box, case closed. Except it looks terrible compared to what you expected, and you're not imagining it. Reddit threads explode daily with compression complaints and side-by-side -side screenshots proving the difference. Netflix's 4K looks softer and muddier than a 1080p Blu-ray disc. The colors are washed out, dark scenes turn into blocky messes, and fast action looks like someone smeared Vaseline on your TV. This isn't pixel-peeping nonsense from home theater snobs. It's measurably, objectively true that streaming 4K delivers inferior image quality despite charging you extra. But here's where it gets wild with these lawsuits. Multiple lawsuits have been filed against these companies for false advertising, and they all fail for the same reason. The streaming services never actually promised you great image quality. They just promised you a specific resolution. It's like ordering a gallon of orange juice and getting a gallon of orange-flavored water instead. The companies deliver the letter of the promise while completely violating the spirit of it. Courts keep siding with them because, legally, they're not wrong about the pixels. Let me break down why resolution alone is meaningless. Imagine taking a gorgeous, high-resolution photo and printing it on the cheapest printer with almost empty ink cartridges. That's what aggressive compression does to your video streams. Netflix's 4K streams typically run between 10 and 25 megabits per second, depending on your connection. A 4K Blu-ray disc runs at a consistent 128 megabits per second. You're getting somewhere between 1 12th and 1 5th of the actual data that makes up a proper 4K image. The technical term is bitrate, and it's the single most important factor in video quality that nobody talks about in advertising. Think of it like this. Resolution tells you the size of the canvas, but bitrate tells you how much paint you get to use. Streaming services advertise the canvas size and stay completely silent about the paint situation. That silence is very intentional, because if people understood bitrate, nobody would pay extra for streaming 4K. Now here's the economic reality nobody wants to discuss. Streaming services save absolutely massive amounts of money by compressing video so aggressively. Every megabit per second they reduce, multiplied by millions of subscribers streaming simultaneously, equals hundreds of millions in bandwidth costs saved annually. Netflix alone serves over 230 million subscribers worldwide. If they streamed at true 4K quality, their infrastructure costs would increase by an estimated 400 to 500 percent overnight. So they made a calculated business decision deliver technical 4K at compressed bit rates, charge premium prices, and hope consumers don't notice or complain. And for the most part, that gamble has paid off spectacularly. Here's what you need to understand about how these lawsuits actually fall apart in court. The plaintiffs argue false advertising. They paid for premium quality and got something noticeably inferior. But the services never explicitly promised premium quality in their legal terms of service. They promised 4K resolution, and that's exactly what they delivered, regardless of how compressed and ugly it looks. Courts don't award damages for vague implications or disappointed expectations. You need to prove the company made a specific, measurable promise and then broke it. Saying Ultra HD or 4K streaming isn't legally considered a quality promise. It's just a resolution specification. The only way to actually win this kind of case would be finding smoking gun evidence that falls into specific categories. First, internal communications showing the companies know their quality is inferior. You need emails proving they intentionally designed their marketing to mislead customers. We're talking emails between executives saying things like, consumers can't tell the difference, so let's keep compression high to save bandwidth costs. Second, Advertising materials that make specific quality promises beyond just resolution. Claims like cinema quality picture or identical to physical media would work. Third, comparisons to competitors where they claim superior quality while actually delivering worse performance. 
Without one of these three smoking guns, you're just arguing that the service didn't meet your personal expectations. Check this out. One lawsuit against Netflix in 2021 actually had interesting legs before it got dismissed. The plaintiff argued that advertising 4K implied a quality standard beyond just pixel count, similar to how organic food has legal definitions. The judge basically said, nice try, but resolution is just a number, not a quality guarantee. The case got tossed with no damages, no settlement, nothing at all. Netflix kept cashing those premium subscription checks without changing a single thing. This matters because we're all making purchasing decisions based on misleading terminology. You're paying extra every month thinking you're getting the premium experience when you're actually getting the budget version with a fancy label. It's not just Netflix. Disney+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus, Amazon Prime Video, HBO Max. They're all doing the same thing. Some are slightly better than others, but none of them come close to physical media quality. The uncomfortable truth is that streaming services are technically honest while being practically deceptive, and they know exactly what they're doing. They've got teams of lawyers who craft every word of their marketing materials to stay just inside legal boundaries while creating maximum confusion. They'll use phrases like stunning 4K picture or incredible ultra HD quality that sound like promises but legally mean nothing. These words create impressions without making claims, and impressions aren't actionable in court. Here's where some people are fighting back, though. A class action lawsuit filed in 2023 against multiple streaming services took a different angle. It focuses on the price premium rather than quality claims. The argument goes like this. If 4K streaming costs $8 more per month than HD streaming, but the actual quality difference is negligible due to compression, the price difference constitutes fraud. You're paying for an upgrade that doesn't really exist in any meaningful way. This approach might have better legal footing because it's about pricing practices rather than vague quality expectations. Another angle that might eventually work is consumer protection law in specific states. California, for example, has stronger consumer protection statutes that could theoretically apply to misleading subscription tier marketing. If enough consumers file complaints with state attorneys general offices, regulatory action becomes possible. But that requires coordination and awareness that most people just don't have. Most subscribers don't even realize they're getting compressed quality. They just assume 4K is 4K and maybe their TV isn't good enough. This matters because companies are betting on your confusion and your unwillingness to make noise about it. They're counting on the fact that most people won't comparison shop with physical media or understand technical spec. And they definitely won't cancel subscriptions over picture quality alone. They've calculated that the money saved on bandwidth costs far exceeds any legal risk from misleading marketing. And so far, they've been absolutely right about that bet. Every lawsuit has failed. Every complaint has gone nowhere. And the premium tier subscriptions keep printing money. So here's what would actually need to happen for this to change. Either a lawsuit needs to uncover those smoking gun internal documents proving intentional deception, or regulatory agencies need to step in and create legal definitions for streaming quality tiers. Imagine if streaming services had to display average bitrate numbers right next to resolution specs, the same way nutritional labels show you what's in your food. Suddenly, consumers could comparison shop based on real information instead of marketing buzzwords. That transparency would completely change the game which is exactly why the streaming industry lobbies hard against any regulation that would require it. To recap, streaming services advertise 4K, but deliver heavily compressed versions that look worse than older physical media despite charging you extra. Lawsuits keep failing because resolution is just a pixel count, not a quality guarantee. What would actually win a case? Internal emails proving intentional deception, advertising that makes specific quality promises they don't keep, or consumer protection laws that treat pricing tiers as fraudulent when quality differences are negligible. The companies know exactly what they're doing, staying technically honest while being practically deceptive. So here's what I want to know. If you could force streaming services to change one thing about how they market their premium tiers, what would it be? Would you demand they show bitrate numbers alongside resolution, require refunds when quality falls below certain thresholds, or create an independent rating system that measures actual picture quality. What action do you think would actually make these companies be honest about what you're paying for?